Put another quarter and she'll take her top off. I encountered a really, well, I will not say what the video is like, but it had my name on it, so I had to take a look at it. You know, I, I did maybe a minute, and the video is... Yeah, totally cop -esque. Hey, Julie. I was not able to download any of that video. Um, the video downloader that I used just refused. I don't know why. But it doesn't really matter because only a few images, it appears, were shown. So I will use an appropriate image. And I have captured some of the audio. So I'll use uh, that image and the audio to represent what was said in, this vid in the video that I'm making reply to. Link, as is almost always the case, will be found down here. And if you want to go take a look, there's really no reason, as far as I can see, but the original video is linked down here. Hey guys, good morning. How are you? Hope everything's good. I titled this video, Atheist Control Freak Desert File. That's right, I'm not only a control freak, I'm a atheist control freak. I have no idea, let's find out. Like, you know, pedophile? I don't know why it says desert file. Gosh, could it be because I'm educated and intelligent and I know words? Anyway, um, yesterday I made a few videos. One of the videos... Uh, was atheists hate to address Kant as Dr. Ken Holden. Hate? I see no evidence for that assertion that atheists out there hate calling Reverend Kent Hoven doctor. I have never seen anybody hate doing that. The point of the title is that uh, everyone with a functioning brain knows why Reverend Kent Hoven has been fraudulently calling himself a doctor. This is not a secret. This is not something that you have to sit and contemplate. Golly, why is Reverend Kent Hoven calling himself a doctor? Everybody knows why. It is because Reverend Kent Hoven is a liar. That's liar, as in lying. A person who tells a shitload of lies, you call that person a liar. If you want to give Reverend Kent Hoven a title, liar works, doctor doesn't work. Um, if someone wants to be called in such a name, let's say he wants to be called as Tom. Good God, that's funny. Suppose somebody wants to be known as Tom! You know, Tom Kent Hoven! It gets funnier. Then it is quite appropriate to address him as Tom. The issue is, Reverend Kent Hoven claims to have a doctorate, a PhD. He is not claiming to have a Tom it, or a PH Tom. If he wants to be called as Dr. Ken Hoven, then he needs to do the work and get a PhD. This is how it's done here in the real world. I don't know what is done to get a doctorate in clown world. Pie in the face, perhaps. But here in the real world, if somebody wants to be called Dr. So-and-so, they have to be a doctor. Address him as Dr. Ken Hoven. If he doesn't mind being called as Ken Hoven, yeah, call him Ken Hoven. But why is it that some atheists do intentionally go out of their way to denote, uh, let's say, Dr. Ken Hoven? That just cracks me up. That's right, it's only atheists out there who are not calling people who don't have doctorates, doctor. 
Yeah, I don't get it either. 99.999% of humanity do not call non-doctors doctors. It's not just atheists doing that. It's damn near everybody who is not a occult befuddled moron. The real question, why is this clown calling a non-doctor a doctor? Because the non-doctor wants to be called that. How does that make any sense? Don't answer that because you'll just go batshit crazy trying to figure it out. Um, that's what happened to me, in case you were wondering. And calling him derogatory things. Der derogatory things. Derogatory. Showing a critical or disrespectful attitude. We're supposed to do that. Every adult who has a adequately functioning brain is also supposed to be doing that. If you're not doing that and you're an adult and you're relatively sane, you really need to start being derogatory because that is what you're supposed to be doing. That is called being mature. You criticize liars. You criticize thieves. You criticize tax evaders. You know, adult behavior. Not clown behavior, apparently, but adult behavior. Criticize people when they are evil. Reverend Kent Hoven is evil. Ergo, he gets criticized derogatorily. By the way, please state one example of any atheist who said anything about Ken Hoven that is wrong. I will not hold my breath. There's a video from yesterday. Atheists hate to address Kent as Dr. Ken Hoven. Even I addressed him as Kent. Okay? One can choose to address him, either Ken Hoven or Dr. Ken Hoven. So, if I just started insisting that everybody call me monarch, protector, and defender of New Mexico, desert file, that is now my title. Do you see any problems with that? I don't think he wanted to be addressed as moron, right? Way too easy. I'm going to skip that one. Okay. Now, the thing is, um, if you look at the comment, <sighs> this self-praising guy, <laughs> self-thumbing up guy, and it says, you know, he expressed his opinion. And that is good. However, why is it that he must come and massive thumb down the video? I massive thumb down his video. The video has seven thumbs down, one of which is mine. Massive. But then this clown calls non-doctors doctors, so... This is what I'm talking about. It's such, such a control freakish uh, stuff. That just cracks me up. I left one comment on one video saying, Hey, Reverend Ken Hoven is not a doctor. I'm a control freak. Eh, controlling. Hey, cult clown. Guess who's controlling you when he tells you he is a doctor when he's not. He thinks he can just readily come into any people's channel and do this sort of strange, crappy things. That's right. Somebody made a video, allowed comments and thumbs up or thumbs down. And then somebody came along, spotted a lie, left a comment saying, hey, that's a lie. Did a thumb down. How dare that person. So much a control freak. If you don't want comments on your videos, 
Disable comments on your videos. If you don't want thumbs up or thumbs down on your videos. Why do I have to explain this? And he thinks that he can correct others with that sort of attitude. Damn right, I think I can do that because I am really, really, really good at it. So, Mr. Desert File, I know you have a lot of socks coming, you know, my channel or Christian channel. By socks, this clown means uh, sock puppets uh, accounts on YouTube. This clown has more than 70. I have two accounts on YouTube. To harass others. One comment! One thumbs down! Harassing others. When you want to harass, you might want to harass with something that you have. See, what you are doing here is that based on your judgment and appealing to certain accredited authority, you mean tens of millions of people are doing it wrong? The staggering cost of education to be a doctor? All those people just silly them. They could have saved a bundle of money in four or six or eight or twelve years of their life and just start calling themselves a doctor because, hey, why not? Why is it this atheist, this Zen Buddhist atheist, have to explain moral and ethical behavior to followers of Jesus? You are not giving him the due credit. And of course he made a comment that you can call him whatever he wants by his name or by his title. And I did. I did call Reverend Kent Hoven by his title. This clown got upset by me doing that. Now he's complaining that I did that. However, it doesn't give you any right to call in anything else other than what he wanted. Don't have the right. If I start calling Reverend Kent Hoven Mary Queen of Scots, I have that right. If Reverend Ken Hoven wants to call himself a doctor, he has that right. If anybody and everybody steps up and says, hey, Reverend Ken Hoven is not a doctor, they have that right. It is also my civic duty to do so. This is how adults work. This is what adults do. It is their required behavior. When they see lies, they point it out. How dare they? We need more of that, by the way. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.